Maryland won the toss deferred to the second half so the Spartans will receive trying to bounce back from their first loss to set up a huge matchup with the Buckeyes next week. Off we go from East Lansing the dangerous Jaden Reed brings this one back from the five and good special teams coverage from the Terps and again without the left tackle Jared Horse one thing he has going for him this is a very deep offensive line another thing he has going for him is this man Kenneth Walker the nation's leading rusher gets a few on the first play of the day for an offense that was dead last in the Big Ten last year under 20 points per game their third this season averaging 34. Second and seven and Thorne to throw for the first time. He's got the tight end Tyler Hunt, the former walk on punter, has the first down with a flag down. <laughs> Terps beating Terps too often this season. Here's the little flea flicker. They've had great success this season. They strike again. This time Montori Foster. Touchdown from 52. And it results in another touchdown. Well, it's the influence of number nine, first and foremost. You see that whole front seven attack. And then on the outside, I mean, you just can't beat a corner any more cleanly than that. Matt Coughlin, who missed last week's game with an injury, is in there for the extra point. They expect that he will share the kicking duties with Stephen Rusnak today. But that time is an influence on that fourth flea flicker of the season. It's Rusnak to kick off and a touchback. But watch how quickly the ball will come out of his hand this afternoon. It does right away here, but all over it is Chester Kimbrough, who's one of the guys that got picked on by the Boilermakers. Spencer Anderson making his second start at center, and there you see Jared. He is their most explosive Terp. Floats this one to the sideline, and incomplete coverage from Cal Halliday, who will get called for pass interference. Pass interference, defense, number 27, spot of the foul, automatic. First down. So first down and 10. First run play is to Fleet Davis. Gets a couple against defense. It's been pretty good stopping the run, but the worst pass defense in the country by a wide margin. Last yeah. week against Purdue, they gave up 536 passing yards. Yeah, Slade's leader in the middle. There will be no crouch at the second level. Keep an eye on that. Over Fleet Davis' head and third down. First third down of the game. Third and eight for the Terps on their opening drive. And not a safety back, everybody. This usually means bail when they show this look. But once again, a man-to-man -man temperament. And they do bring a couple of extra men. There's Rakim Jarrett, who gets popped immediately by Darius Snow. They gain just a few when it's fourth down. Well, this is pretty good. This is a zone blitz. Pressure up the middle. You got zone defenders underneath. And Darius Snow's got his eyes on it the entire time. Anthony Pecorella will punt it. They use two punters. They got a righty. They got a lefty. This is the righty. This is Jaden Reed with a fair catch on a good punt. From the 16 yard line Spartans begin the drive with a Kenneth Walker run makes the first man miss but gets swallowed up. Walker again. A stop by Ahmad McCullough and it's third down. He comes out on third down. Harold Joyner comes in. Maryland brings five. Thorne lets it go. And it flutters incomplete with a coverage from Tarheeb Still. This is Bryce Beringer, one of the best in the country, almost 50 yards a pop. And this thing is just drilled over the head of Tarheeb Still. Wow. Oh, my goodness. All the way inside the 15. It's a 70 yard punt. Oh. One of the challenges is they're going to have to give Talia time. There will be screens. We will see the ball out in a hurry, but their ability to protect will be critical. Here's a Michigan native Penny Boone at 245 pounds right through the heart of the defense. Second down, three to go. Back to Boone. Yeah, and he runs hard, stays on his feet, and makes his way all the way close to midfield. Penny Boone running with a purpose. Wow. For 28 yards. <laughs> I think you watch a little tape of Kenneth Walker in this building because he sure looked like number nine on the other side. He is a Michigan kid, Detroit kid, that is in the best shape of his season right now. And Michael Oxley was excited to see what he was capable of, and he is running through arm tackles. From the 50, first throw of the drive. That's complete to Rakim Jarrett. Second catch. 
for the sophomore is pushed out by Marquis Lowry. Yeah, and Tunga Baloa does not need a 100-yard rusher. He just needs to keep that group honest. If they can run between the tackles like that, right, then it sets up that play action off of it. This is Colby McDonald, so the third running back to come into the game. Deep drop off play action. Let's it fly. Rakim Jarrett can't pull it in. Boy, Terps are going warp speed here, even after an incompletion in rhythm off of Fleming's hands. That's back to back plays where the ball could have been caught. Spartans bring an extra man. He throws into that pressure over the head of the tight end, Deitches, who is chased by Gross. Pecarella, second punt. It's a short one, and Reed with a fair catch at the 13. All three drives for the Spartans have begun inside the 20. They get it to Malik Carr, freak of an athlete, tight end who they deploy outside here, and he gets 11 yards with a key block from Jaden Reed. Play action on first down has Thorne rolling. There's Jaden Reed. Tarheeb still gets dragged for an extra few yards. Yep, just just like that relationship between Reed and Thorne all the way back to seventh grade thousands and thousands and thousands of reps Walker still looking to get loose for the first time he sheds the first man and stiff arms his way with his first big run of the evening across the 35 yard line 23 yards for Kenneth Walker if you're reaching he's running Walker again this time the right side there's a man in the hole waiting for him Lantez Rogers and then finished off by Jordan Mosley who makes it second and seven, facing pressure. Thorne floating once, Reed, perfectly thrown. Touchdown, Michigan State. Thorne to Reed again, this time from 29. Second touchdown pass of this first quarter for Peyton Thorne. Both of them big plays. Extra point here from Rusnak is wide to the left. Coughlin is trying. We watched him in warm-ups. It, it looked like he was pretty comfortable up to 35, 40 yards. That muscle and that leg must have just tightened up. Fleming with a fair catch. It is Penny Boone on first down. It's time the Spartans ready for him. There are flags down as he gets a short gain. And the play for holding the block in question is legal at second down. Everything you want, you can see it. He's a little fiery, a little feisty, because he knows there's opportunity that abounds this afternoon. Former Spartan quarterback sends this call in, and it gives Rakim Jarrett his third catch already. And this was after the, the third down where he throws the corner out. And I really think this is Mike and Dan just saying, hey, there are plays to be made. All right, there are. You're looking at it, and you put two on the money. They were dropped, but keep taking it. Keep taking it. Don't get greedy trying to push it down the field. Completions are there. Here he is running it. Figure we may see more of this today. On the season, he's averaged about three true carries a game. Getting bowl eligible, and it means running Tally a little bit more. Back-to-back -back runs for him. Good tackle by Xavier Henderson, the Spartans' leading tackler. Out of an empty set. Spartans rush just three, so he's got time. From behind, he's flushed. He lets it go for a first down. Finding a soft spot for his QB. This time they blitz. Back to Jones. Wasn't quite ready for it. Second and ten. Coverage from Ronald Williams. But he, he likes to operate as a fast customer. Deep drop here. Steps up and heaves it for Jarrett, who climbs the ladder but can't hang on. Good to see Jarrett to his feet, walking under his own power for a moment. Converted one third down on this drive. Spartans the worst third down defense in the Big Ten, bringing pressure. High throw incomplete over Cobb's head. Coverage from Marquis Lowry, and the punt team comes out. Pecarella has handled all the punting so far today, and there's been a bunch of it in this first quarter. His best one has Reed backing inside the 10 for a fair catch. Kenneth Walker tries the right side, and there is Greg Rose sticking his nose in to shut it down. Second down and 10. Foster with a fly motion. Thorne given all day to find the crossing. Keon Coleman for just his second career catch. Ja'Cory and Bennett is all over him, and it's third down. And they had Penn State in a bunch of these. Bunch of third and longs last week and just could not get off of the field. Thorne finds a crossing. Mosley and cracked down by Tarheeb Still. 
Had to make that tackle, and he did with authority. So what Berenger has for a follow-up act. After the 70-yarder his last time, it's another booming punt. Still back over the shoulder has it. And pulled down at the 25-yard line by Justin White. Penny Boone out of the pistol has it. And the big man comes downhill into the arms of Noah Harvey, who's getting his first start of the season today. Second and nine, Tonga Vailoa in trouble. Able to get away to the sideline for Cobbs. Incomplete. Rakim Jarrett, by the way, is back in the game for Maryland after getting helped off on the last drive. Let's see here if the Spartans bring heat like they've done a bunch today, and they will out of the secondary. Freeman comes loose, lofted to the sideline for Jarrett. He has it for a first down. Rock him, Jarrett, on third and long. Comes up with 18 yards. Stands his call to catch first down. And he's off to a great start in his career. Here is a sophomore. Fresh set of downs back in his hands on the bubble screen. Rock him, Jarrett, lowers the shoulder and finishes forward for seven. Into Spartan territory. Play action. Back shoulder broken up. Carrier the intended receiver. Kimbrough in coverage. Empty set. Spartans bringing heat again. Tonga Vailoa around the left end. He's down the sideline. And there he goes. Tonga Vailoa inside the 10. And it's first and goal. Longest run of the season, 46 yards for Talia. Wow, this is a great job. This is designed QB just sprint the whole way, QB run. And you see the big left tackle, Duncan, gets out in front of him. They told us there's going to be more designed QB run today than they've done all season. That's already the third in the first quarter, and that one the most explosive. Penny Boone downhill and in, back in his home state and in the end zone. Beautiful call from Dan Enos on the QB sweep. 50 of the 76 yards on the drive on the ground as Petrino sends it away. Reed will have a chance. Fake the reverse. Makes a man miss. Gets a block and gets a big return to the 41. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans, Rocket Can. Not a perfect Big Ten November day. Low 30s, dry, thankfully. I'm spitting a little bit before the game, but dry as we get going. And Jordan Simmons with a solid first down run, dragging a defender for seven. Again, we mentioned it facing a defensive line that has been the biggest strength for the Maryland D. Here's Thorn off play action. He's already hit a few big plays, and this one's incomplete looking from a late car, but a flag down. Nick Cross in coverage and going to get flagged. Prior to the pass, holding defense number three. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Spartans in shot territory here. They're going to run it, though. Straight ahead with a big hole for Simmons. Across the tackle. Eight more. Sophomore to Marietta, Georgia. Swings out of the backfield and gets it. Stumbles, losing 4-5. And with a kicking situation, probably four down territory. Harold Joyner comes in at running back. Pressure comes again. Threads it through to Reed. Breaks a tackle. And Tarheeb still will toss him down, but they convert third and six as Jaden Reed has another catch, his third of the game. Well, that is good on good. That is the best corner for Maryland. In fact, the Big Ten's leader in knocking the ball down. And Jacorian Bennett, you can't cover much better. He's right into the hip of Reed, but the throw and catch is even better. No Kenneth Walker on this drive. Here is Thorne, all kinds of room to run. Had a touchdown from this spot of the field last week. Here he runs for a first down. Stopped by Jordan Mosley. Pretty darn fast. Not thought of necessarily as a dual threat guy, but can run when he needs to. An inside fade to the top if you want it. On the ground, Simmons. Boy, they've gotten all kinds of movement on first down on this drive, and Jordan Simmons takes advantage for seven more. Red Gypsy. Joe, you got that on your board? Uh, let me try and find that's in the fine print. Uh, we'll all find out together. On second down, floating for the corner and incomplete. Wanted Trey Mosley. Thorne's going to deploy out. This is the Wildcat. Walker straight ahead. 
Not going to get there. Stop just short. And close enough where you consider sneaking it too. Fourth down, less than one from inside the five. It is the quarterback sneak, and it's first and goal for Michigan State. First down and goal, it is Walker. And so far, Jeremy Spragan's playing a good game. They've kind of been searching for somebody to step forward at that linebacker spot next to Ruben Hippolyte on the 12th play of the drive. Try Walker again. Crashes inside the three and down to the two, where it will be third and goal. 13th play of this drive for the Spartans. Fake this time into the flats. Hayward's open. That's a touchdown. With the attention on the Heisman candidate, Walker, they get it to Hayward for the score. There is a flag down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number. Coglin back in, and he's right down the middle with the extra point. Spartans answer right back. From midfield, thanks to the roughing the passer penalty on the touchdown, he'll drill it. It's a touchback. Joe Davis and Brock Heward as Maryland begins the drive with a swing to Penny Boone who stumbles and loses a yard. How do we go from good to great? How do we get over the hump and beat really good teams? Well, this doesn't help. Spartan showing pressure and bringing it. Tunga Vailoa eludes the first man over the middle of the field. Had an open man. It's cross. It's incomplete. But you just can't make the mistakes they've made today. Not a good punt here, although it does take a good roll for Maryland out of bounds at the 32-yard line. He's got it on the first play of this drive, and outside of the 21-yard run that he broke off, breaking a few tackles in that first quarter, he has 11 yards on his other nine carries. Second and eight, fake to Walker. Mosley in the flats. Slips a tackle and has space. Trey Mosley across midfield, but a flag down. Single block in the back. Offense, number 11, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, second down. Heisman moment, really, last time here, 197 yards, five touchdowns against Michigan. Swallowed up again, he gets two, and it's third and one. A bunch of bodies all around him when he's getting the ball. Stick with him on third and one, and he's got enough. So I think a couple things here. I think what you feel, and Jay Johnson, the OC, one of my favorites to watch and study. Okay, he's up above. He's being patient. Here's a little bit of tempo. That's one way to change it. How about a little swing route? How about a little screen? How about just try to get Kenneth in space? Deep ball. Once Reed. Incomplete coverage from Bennett. Second and ten play action. A screen to Tyler Hunt. Third and three. On third and three, he'll look to throw. And out of the backfield, it's Kenneth Walker. There you go. Walker in the passing game. Just his 11th catch this year. And it goes for 17 yards. Yeah, I think they can keep doing this. You know what you're getting. You're getting man coverage in this down and distance. Just a little rub concept. Brush the linebacker, and that is all Walker needs. Take a shot. And he does. It's Reed. Makes the adjustment in the catch. What hands from Jaden Reed for 22 yards. Wow. You think these two have done this a few times? Buddies since seventh grade when he bumped into them, realized like they were going to go to the same high school. Wide snap corralled. Rolling to his right. To the five for Hayward. An eligible receiver downfield on the pass. Offense, number 59. Five-yard penalty, first down. Nicknamed the Bird, and he is set to flight both their careers. Option play. Walker. Lowers the shoulder and gets to the five. Walker again. This time couldn't get started. Great penetration from the defensive line. Player hustling off of the field for Maryland just barely gets off. One-on-one -on -one to Carr at the top. Looking the other way, over the middle, and incomplete, but a flag flies. Bennett with the coverage on Jaden Reed. And pass interference going to make this first and goal from the Wildcat. It's Walker. Stays on his feet. Second effort. Second down and goal for the Spartans. Thorne back in at quarterback with Walker behind him. They try Walker again. This time there's a hold, and there's the 16th rushing touchdown of the year for Kenneth Walker. 
Coughlin adds the extra point. Big drive coming up for Maryland. They'll get the ball to begin the second half. But down three scores right now. A short kick that falls at the 20. And falling on from the 20-yard line. Tunga Vailoa to throw on the first play of the drive. It's Teon Fleet Davis. The running back gets five or six. Cal Halliday the tackle. Tonga Vailoa, who completes more than 70% of his passes on the season, nine of 20 so far, finds a window here for a first down to Marcus Fleming. The Nebraska transfer to the 48, 24 yards. Some soft zone here from the Spartans. Against four-man rush, given time. Steps up and finds Carlos Carrier. A soft spot in the zone inside the 35 on a 19-yard game. 25 minutes, 27 minutes of this half have been so aggressive defensively. Holding them to just 99 passing yards. Down the middle of the field, perfectly done. It's Chigo Conquo and a touchdown for the Terps. Did you see the safety come down, Henderson? It is three deep. It is four underneath, and that is the deep over that absolutely exposes that void in the zone. Okonko had a career game last week, had 12 catches in the Penn State loss. Prior to that drive, Brock, both defenses had taken away what would have been the strength on the other side. Michigan State had been stopping Maryland's pass offense. Maryland has been stopping Kenneth Walker. Jaden Reed. 50 seconds, two timeouts. Michigan State will look to throw on the first play of the drive, and it's Walker for his second grab. He gets to the edge, turns the corner. 41 seconds from the 34. Maryland brings a couple of extra men. They beat it with a crossing read, trying to run away from Bennett. 14 more for Jaden Reed. Quickly to midfield. Give it all day. Threads it through for Reed again, but incomplete. Legal substitution. Defense. Number 95 was the 12th man on the field. Five-yard penalty. First down. First and five. Eight in coverage, so tight windows. Waiting for something to develop. It is incomplete. Mosley got his hand on it. Second and five, just 13 seconds. Field goal range murky at this point. Lofts it up there, and it's broken up by Tarheeb Still. They're bringing in their biggest guys. They got Christian Fitzpatrick at 6'4", Malik Carr at 6'5". Here's a flag. Offside. Defense, number four. Number four came into the neutral zone, causing number 76 to react. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot results in a first. And so the reaction Correct. would be the reason they blew it dead. That's right. Hard count again. This time it is a free play. It is down the sideline. Picked off. But again, oh, no, incomplete. Couldn't hang on. Mona Sealy Kite is the man that came offside. The half can't end on a defensive penalty, so if they accept this, they'll get to throw again. The penalties mean it's a chance from the 37, and it's a heave ho to the end zone that is intercepted. And they finally get a takeaway. Cross has intentions of bringing this one all the way back, but Thorne brings him down. And if Peyton Thorne doesn't make the tackle, who knows where that ends up? Spartans win out. They'll go to the Big Ten Championship. They lead 27-14 up by two touchdowns here as Maryland gets it to begin the second half. And Marcus Fleming is spilled at the 23-yard line. It has been the Tonga Bailoa show, and we knew that coming in. He'll throw in the first play of the half, and in rhythm it's Okonkwo, whose first catch of the day went for a touchdown on that last drive. Big, strong tight end has eight here. The temperature in this building changes an awful lot. Second carry for Fleet Davis. And it moves the chains to the 36. And I am sure that was the messaging for Michael Oxley and Dan Eno. Says, hey, as bad as that first half was, all the penalties, all the time of possession, we get the ball to begin the half. And if we can do, and he's bundled up for the second half, what we did going into halftime and score a touchdown, this becomes a six-point game. Spartans bring pressure. Tonga Vailoa eludes it, zips it down the field, and has his man. First down, Rakim Jarrett. And doing what they did to, to end the first half, marching right down. Okonkwo again turns it upfield and gets to the 31. 
There is Snow the tackle, seven yards on first down. Seven straight completions for Tunga Vailoa. On second and short against a light box, he's back to throw, spins out the back door, turns the shoulders, lets it fly for Okonkwo, who can't get it, but a flag. Noah Harvey gonna get called for pass interference. And just react, and this is a smart play. It's Harvey, the middle linebacker. He's blind to the ball. That contact inhibits Okonkwo from going and getting it. All right, that is just knowing, hey man, I got an opportunity to get a big pass interference call with a linebacker out in space in a mismatch. Terps on the move. They got first down at the Michigan State 16. Back to the air, off play action, steps into one and gets picked off by Harvey. He atones immediately. All the way back to the 35. I don't know what he's looking at here because very clearly Harvey is in this throwing angle. And if it's not Harvey, it's, it's going to be Gross, the free safety, right behind him. Play action, first play of the second half. Wide open over the middle. Walker, the bulk of his yards in that first half came on one carry. Gets a chunk here, but it's coming back. Holding offense, number 64. 10 yard penny from the previous spot, first down. Penalty moves it back to the 40. They give it right back to Walker. Makes a cut. And gallops his way for a first down. You see these two seal that edge. It's a game plan every time when you're facing Kenneth Walker. You've got to keep him inside. That time, Nasila Kite is facing the brunt of a double, double team with Jarvis and Buter. He cannot get around it. 47 of his 72 today have come on two carries. Thorn given all day, and he finds Mosley right between the one and the seven. You give him that much time. Super comfy, and he delivers a 20-yard strike. And the Spartans have it first down from the Maryland 13. Downhill Walker, bounce into the outside. First and goal, Michigan State. Mosley and Bennett combine in the tackle. An interception, you blink, and now the Spartans have it on the doorstep with Walker getting hit in the backfield by Cross. Look at this. I mean, they are just saying, I'm sorry, Kenneth. We're not going to give you anything. So he swings out in a pass pattern. Thorne throws high for Mosley, and it's third and goal. Had it first and goal at the three. Now third and goal. Walker part of the pattern again. He slips it through for Reed, who's got his second touchdown of the night. And Peyton Thorne has his fourth. You look at the paper, and you see six foot 185, and you're not supposed to be able to do this. Right, it's usually the big bodied receivers, the guys that run the slants down here that use their frame, use their body, but Reed is strong, man. Like Kenneth Walker, he is physical, and he will snatch it with those fingertips. It's Coughlin for the point after. He's got some Andre rise into his game. Hmm. Former Spartan great. There were some 20 other guys that have transferred in this year, Kenneth Walker being the biggest one of them. But that is one thing that Mel loves to do. He's putting together a good class in 22 and even better down the road. There's Fleming. Something brewing on the return if he can get to the edge. Yeah, but it turned the corner across the 30-yard line. Maryland in quite a hole. Don't forget the Big Ten Championship game presented by Discover will be on Fox December 4th. Here's Rakim Jarrett. Cuts it against the grain and has a first down. Eighth catch for Jarrett. To the ground they go, and a hole for Colby McDonald. Runs hard through arm tackles to the 32 before Angelo Gross gets him. 24 for 23. And yeah, he's another one of these talented young freshmen, man. Just SEC offers, a bunch of different schools wanted him. The four star running back out of Maryland. He also stays in state, shows you some of his physical tools. Mike Loxley getting the kids to stay home. Here's a screen. Dumped off for Okonkwo. The tight end steps out of a tackle. Down the sideline, a hurdle, and a touchdown. Second of the game for Chig Okonkwo. The extra linebacker comes. Okonkwo is able to block and then sneaks out. He's got the big fella in front of him helping. A pair of 32-yard touchdowns for Okonkwo. Hey, Maryland saying not so fast.
Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans, Rocket Can. But the interception, the penalties, the drops, that's why this is a two score game. Jaden Reed, who brought a return past the 40 earlier tonight, is hemmed in here and down to the 25 yard line. Thorne pumps one way and sets up a screen for Tyler Hunt. Ball comes out and Maryland's got it. Ami Finau rips it out of there and Tarheep still recovers. After five games without a takeaway, they're second tonight. How about the effort out of the big nose tackle to retrace his steps, see that inside screen. They ran it a week ago. They've done it twice. And this time Finau says, uh-uh, I'm going to come in, I'm going to pursue, and I'm going to hammer at that football. Turnovers change the whole deal. From the 27-yard line, Mitz McDonald into the arms of Halliday, not going anywhere. Fake the run, quickly to Jarrett, one-on-one, -on -one. steps away. Ruck him, Jarrett, downhill, first down. McDonald stretching. Colby McDonald is inside the five. But his ability to extend play is critical. Back to McDonald, makes the cut. First and goal for the Terps. The big running back, Penny Boone, comes back in. He leads the way for Tungavailoa, who got met in the backfield by Petrowski. The ball is out, but they say that he's down. So second down and goal from the five. He has loved his tight end Okonkwo today and throughout the season in the red zone. Steps up over the middle. Back of the end zone and incomplete through the hands of Jarrett. On third and goal, they bring the house. Tungavailo retreating and throwing out of bounds. Incomplete. <laughs> Joseph Petrino from 40 yards straight away. He missed it. Jeez. And just when you think you're figuring this game out, topsy turvy. You know, it was, a, it was a sack last week in Happy Valley that cost him a chance at a field goal. That time, a intentional ground. He just can't have it. Walker, first play of the drive. Gets around the corner. Pushed out after six or seven. Hey, one thing to notice here, Kenneth Walker also looks like, for the first time I've seen that left ankle, they put a little extra spat, tape up that left ankle. The guy has been Herculean in his efforts. Keep an eye on it. He's got it again here and limit the game to one and it's third and short. He's had a back to back carries to open this drive takes the fake on third down Thorne given time as he's been given all day. It is caught. But short Jaden Reed makes the catch. They spot him a little bit short. All right so we're going to take a look at it. They've spotted him at the 32. They need to just pass the 33. And I think this is going to give Mel an opportunity to talk to special teams, to offense, to everybody. Reed does the right thing. He gives his QB an opportunity. After further review, the receiver caught the ball and extended to the 33 and a half yard line. All right. So Spartan offense back out there with a fresh set of downs. And Kenneth Walker bouncing left side. Stiff arms Bennett, who fights him out of bounds. Gets five on first. A lot of Juco transfers making an impact on this Maryland defense. Walker again, hit in the backfield again. And he lost a yard. Or ripping at that ball, but whistle was blown well before it came out. Sam Okawanu, the first man there. Third down and six. Walker out. Simmons in. Thorne looks to throw with a twist up front. Able to get home, and it's Okawanu there for the sack. Sam Okawanu back to back plays for the Terps defense. Man, he is slow is, though getting up. This is so good. You're going to see him come in here. That stunt you reference. And how many times do they hit and split those two within that stunt? First sack of the day for the Maryland defense. Bryce Beringer. 
put on a show his couple punts in the first half. This one a line drive taken at the 32 by still who is cut down. Start with play action. Carlos Carrier working against Ronald Williams for a gain of five and lately it has been one step forward one step back right? and really that sack with intentional grounding in essence turned into another turnover. Second and five. Looking for Carrier again. Can't get it. On third and five. Option. Tonga by Law turns it upfield and has very close, but the ball comes out. He's spotted short. Michigan State's got it. Angelo Gross recovers. And now the question becomes where is he down? He's spotted short. I think he is short of the 45 yard line. More concerning is that shot on the left knee. Fourth down and less than a yard. Out of the shotgun, the Terps will go for it. McDonald made a move and got a first down. There was a Spartan waiting for him, but he put his foot in the ground and made him miss. That is always dangerous in short yardage situations to stop your feet right behind the line of scrimmage but he does and you see the power in his legs as he runs through Piotrowski the defensive end there. The move the chains. Well, McDonald who carried it 17 times in his career coming in he's got six carries tonight. Tonga Vailoa to the sideline Okonkwo working against Xavier Henderson. After the play unsportsmanlike conduct of the defense number 97 for throwing a punch. He threw a punch. 15 yard penalty from the dead ball spot. It's first and 10. So Maverick Hansen, who is thrown out of the game for throwing a punch. Yeah, these two were tangled up. Neither were going to let go. Pressure coming on first down. He's in trouble. He throws it away at the last moment. Is he going to get called for grounding again? Another grounding call on Tonga Vailoa. This time steps up in the pocket. He'll run one on one with Snow, who tackles him after 11. First play of the fourth quarter is a third and 14 and the Michigan State 34. Tonga Vailoa rolls to his left lets it fly for Rockham Jarrett and they set up fourth and four. Converted a fourth down already on this drive. This one will be fourth and four. Five in to block. Spartans rush only three. On the slant, it's broken up. Ronald Williams gets in front of Carlos Carrier. And a turnover on downs. Kenneth Walker takes the fake. Peyton Thorne with a flag down. We'll throw it away. Offense, number 75. 10 yard penalty first down. And this is just a two point takedown right in front of the official. First down 20 to go. Spartans most heavily penalized team in the conference at seven of them today. Walker can't get away from Brandon Jennings the freshman who they get back today. Second down and long Thorne into one on one has Reed. There goes Jaden Reed. Spinning his way to the 45. On second down and 18, they get 29 yards for Reed. Well, this is just a one-on-one -on -one situation, and when in trouble and when in doubt, Peyton is going to go to his childhood buddy. 
He's going to go to number one. He's been the number one option all night long. They have not been able to cover him, and that is just a nearly impossible route to cover, that back shoulder fade. It's Reed's eighth catch of the game, two touchdowns. He's over 100 yards now. They go back to the ground. Kenneth Walker, a seam off the left side, hits the sideline. Kenneth Walker inside the 25. Well, this is all vision because this play is set to go here, and this is all number nine, right? It is set to go to the front side. He sees the crease. 26 for 134. As he continues to build his Heisman resume. Here's the quarterback draw for Peyton Thorne, sliding to the 16. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 44. Penalized half the distance to the goal, first down. Watch for Walker out of the backfield. Hands it off. And Walker to the three. Back to him. And it is third and goal. Ruben Hippolyte, the tackle. And Kenneth Walker out of Arlington, Tennessee. Southside Memphis, small town, where he was lightly recruited. In fact, didn't have a Power 5 offer until the last minute. Wake Forest called and said that they had some interest. So he hopped in the car, made a 19-hour round trip to go visit. Soon after they gave him the offer, it remained his only Power 5 offer. Goes and plays two seasons there. Pretty productive, but wanted to be in a pro-style system. Wanted a bigger role. Got both those things at Michigan State. He's got three straight carries here. This one is in the end zone. Touchdown, Kenneth Walker and Michigan State. Fist to try to tackle, right? There just is not much surface area when he puts his pads down, and we know how much power he generates. Trying to become the first running back to win the Heisman since 2015. On the two-point conversion try, it is incomplete, looking for Hunt. Defended by Mosley. Will he win it? Will he be the first Spartan to win a Heisman Trophy? It's hard to believe it is. with some of the star players they've had here through the years. Here's Fleming from the goal line. Marcus Fleming stopped at the 20. Three score lead for Michigan State. Maryland with the ball from the 20 yard line. Tunga Vailoa throwing a screen. Fleet Davis. Big pickup on the first play of the drive and 275, two touchdowns, although for Michigan State, they consider they gave up 536 through the air last week. They'll take that. See QBs and running backs, they feel that sod and they just kind yeah. of pick it out of their helmet. Linebackers don't care. Yeah, no, they love it. Prefer it. He'll tuck it and throw on the move. Another one for Jarrett. From midfield to the ground they go and Fleet Davis got hit by Halliday. Short gain fourth down trying to keep their hopes alive down 19 inside nine minutes. They run it and it's going nowhere a corner blitz from Marquis Lowry combining with Drew Jordan and the Spartans take over. Is Kenneth Walker you asked Maryland's defensive coordinator Brian Stewart this week and he said without hesitation Kenneth Walker is a bad man and he's the first man at Michigan State with three consecutive 140 yard rushing games since Javon Ringer 13 years ago takes the fake on the first play of this drive and Thorne is sacked Ami Finau trips him up back of the 46 Finau has just not shut it down at all and the energy of the group up front has not stopped tonight. Kenneth Walker. Short gain and look they've given up 40 but this one feels more like it falls on the missed opportunities of the offense. Maryland Brock had five straight possessions go inside the Michigan State 25 yard line and got two touchdowns out of it. Not good enough. Third down 14 Joyner replaces Walker Then Thorne looks to throw. Into one on one coverage and incomplete. Bennett defending Keon Coleman. And I think Maryland is probably feeling a little bit of what Michigan State felt trying to guard David Bell last week. Seemed like any time Purdue needed a play, he was there to give it to him. Well, Beringer with a athletic catch reaching behind him on that snap. There is a flag down. Illegal shift. 
by the kicking team. Five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the kick. First down, Maryland, timeout. McDonald swings out of the backfield. Yeah, it gets stopped by Henderson and Halliday. So if it began right now, this is what it would look like. Cincinnati wins last night. Convincingly enough, nope, probably not. Michigan finally gets a marquee win in the final five minutes, actually makes the plays to win, but I don't have a whole lot of gripes with the four that are there at the top. Got a lot of Washington Cougar fans in Cincinnati and in Ann Arbor tonight, don't we? That's kind, kind, of, there. kind of the way it works. I'll say this as well. I mean, the committee took a lot of heat. Yours truly wondered why a 9-0 Oklahoma team was number eight. Well, they went to Waco today, and Baylor showed, I think, everybody what the, what the committee felt and thought that they weren't one of the best teams in college football. Didn't play like it today. Brian Cobbs comes loose over the middle. He's got the catch for first down. How about Dave Aranda? What he's done very quickly at Baylor, similar to what Mel Tucker's done at Michigan State. Yeah, I don't know if it's the bald head. I don't know if it is defensive-minded <laughs> guys, right, that have cut their teeth in the SEC. And But, yeah, there's a bunch of similarities there. On the verge of falling to 5-5. Five and five. Two more opportunities to become bowl eligible. Tungavailoa is sacked by Jeff Petrowski. Right, he doesn't have some of the girth of others, but the dude has just a will and a heart to get home. Until five sacks, that was his third forced fumble. Tungavailoa will float it incomplete. Fourth down, 16, pressured again. Maintains his balance, zips it for a first down to Daryl Jones. Different week, but a similar story here in East Lansing. Tonga Vailoa is in trouble. And chucks that one to the sideline. It's been called for a couple intentional groundings already today. Second and 10 from the Michigan State 37 yard line. He'll toss it away. So they put this flag on late. The third intentional grounding today called on Talia Tonga Vailoa. Third down 15. Okonkwo needs the 27. Is spilled at the 34. That cannot be targeting. And I like how the group is gathering. Great work. It is. That's very well done. So not a first down. Instead, fourth down and seven. And a false start penalty. Tenth penalty of the day on the Terps. Tungavailoa delivers incomplete, and the Spartans take over with three and a half left. Ryan Day doesn't lose in the Big Ten. Jordan Simmons, figure the day is finished for Kenneth Walker, 143 yards. It's just unfortunately, the defense gave up 537 passing yards. 287, four touchdowns for him in this one. Simmons stays alive and gets a first down. The Ohio State Buckeyes next week in an amazing tilt with so much tension and all the eyes on it. They all have an opportunity to make an even bigger statement. Elijah Collins' first carry of the game is a good one. In a Michigan State defense, that has to be really encouraged about what they did today. 350 yards for Tungavailoa, who threw it 48 times to get that after they gave up an absurd amount through the air last week. Gets across the line of scrimmage. And they got the usual from Kenneth Walker. 143 yards, two more touchdowns. Michigan State is 9-1 and one as they bounce back from their first loss of the season. And a matchup with the Buckeyes on deck. Hey, and you were just celebrating with the student section over there. How good does it feel to come here tonight and get a win at home? Yeah, it feels good to be back at our, on our, our turf, you know, and to, uh, to play pretty well today. And get away in front of our fans. I thought uh, our fans showed up well and were loud, and it was a uh, it was a fun game. Yeah, yeah. Usually the rushing game usually drives this offense, but we saw a lot from the passing game here tonight. What was clicking between you and your playmakers? Yeah, you know it all works together. I thought you know it always starts up front. Offensive line played well today. Uh, you know Ken did his thing. Jordan Simmons did his thing. You know we had a few running backs in there today. Harold did a good job. And our receivers did a good job getting open. They knew what they were they were going against, and they did a good job. 
another one of those playmakers, Jaden Reed, your longtime friend. You found him in the end zone a couple times tonight. How nice was that to get him a couple TDs? That was good. Uh, he ran good routes, you know, good calls by coach, uh, good execution up front to give me time, and then uh, he made a couple nice catches, so it was good. Great efforts offensively, but defensively, they showed up huge when it counted. What did you see from them tonight? Yeah, I thought our defense played well. They did a good job putting the fire out. I uh, had a nice interception down here by Noah Harvey. Uh, and guys were playing hard. You know, our defense is always going to play hard. We play their tails off. I thought they did a good job tonight, and it was, uh, it was fun to watch. After that tough loss last week, you guys come in here, get a big win. You guys have two more games in the regular season. What sort of message did you guys want to send here tonight? We just wanted to play good football. You know, we want to come out and execute and do our thing and focus on doing what we're supposed to do, you know, and, and doing our job and just keeping it simple, you know. And I think we did that. Uh, we got a huge one coming up next week. So we're going to have to have a great week of practice, a uh, great week of preparation.